Hey gang, today we're going to do the intro to Brown Sugar by The Stones. First I'll demo it, then we'll do the tuning, then we'll do the sound, and then we'll do the notes. Remember, The Stones are never about getting everything 100% perfect, so the feel is what's really important here. Alright, here goes. <laughs> See you in just a sec. All right, gang, here we go. Uh, first things first, let's take care of the tuning. Um, as are many Keith Richards riffs, this one is an open G. Now, I've got my guitar tuned to a standard tuning right now, and we're, we'll demo by going to open G. And I do want to show you, you can do it in standard tuning, but it's not as rich sounding, and the key to getting some of the rich opening looseness that the Stones had, or one of the keys, is to go to open G. So we're going to do that. All right, so here's how you do it. You start with a standard tuning, which is E, A, E, G, E, and E. All right, and we'll start by tuning the bottom string, the sixth string, down to a D. So to do that, I'm going to double on the fourth, or get the same sound as on the fourth string, which is a D. close. And uh, on the fifth string, that goes to a, from an A to a G, so we're going to do that by do, doubling on the third string, or sounding out the third string. Alright, now we have to go to a D on the top string as well, from an E, so I'm going to do that. Now we'll see if it's close. Not bad, not bad at all. All right. So, um, you know, and playing around with this stuff, it's just kind of fun to tune a guitar, whether it's acoustic or electric, in this and play around. Sounds great on a lot of songs, like for example, um, you know, ZG Top's uh, Jesus Just Left Chicago. <laughs> etc. All right, so we're going to have fun with this one. All right, let's do the sound now. So I'm using a Marshall Plexi sound, as I often do. Uh, obviously, I'm playing with a, the Gibson Melody Maker pickup. There's only one pickup, so I'm playing this bridge. If you have a telly, you'd want to play the bridge pickup, I believe. All right, and the key thing is, I've, I've got the gain clocked about halfway. If you use a humbucker, clock the gain a little bit less, so you're not overdriven too much. Um, but the key to this sound is to use kind of a slapback echo. Now I actually have a setting on my multi-effects unit that has a slapback echo, but you can also use, I used to use a digital delay set with a delay very, very short. Uh, very, very short delay and you'll get that slapback. You hear that? Here's with it off. And here's with it on, just a little bit. That's all you want. Okay, now on to the song. <laughs> all right. So this one is actually uh, starts out with the G chord. It's in open G, but it doesn't do it down here. No, it does it way up here on the 12th fret. So what we're going to do, there's only really two patterns. Here's the first pattern that we're going to play. We bar across um, five through all the way to one. Sometimes we'll play that one string, sometimes we won't. And we can be kind of sloppy with it. Doesn't matter. This is the Stones. It's got to be loose. That's fine. It's okay. Just don't try not to hit the bottom string like I just did. All right, here we go. Here's the first pattern. The first pattern is you take that bar and then you play onto it basically a mini C chord. This is a G, and you're going to play a mini C chord onto it. And the C chord is, is taken by hammering on with your second finger and to the, uh, we're barring across the 12th, you're going to hammer on to the 13th. And with your third finger, you're going to hammer on to the 14th on the 4th. 
So it's the second and the fourth that you're playing, and you can see that's like a that's like a little C chord. All right. So that's the first thing you play that C chord. Then you play an open G, but barred across on the twelfth. Okay. Now you're going to go all the way down to a, this, the fifth fret and bar across on that, and uh, you're going to play the same pattern. Okay, so let's try that again, very slowly. And you do that four times. That's it for that really cool introduction. That's all he's doing. And, you know, a friend of mine once uh, said uh, he thought that Keith Richards was the best guitar player that ever, ex that ever lived. And why? Because he was a genius. I'm not saying I agree with this totally, but I love Keith Richards playing. And he said the reason is because he could figure out how to play totally wasted on stage with only using one or two fingers. <laughs> well, that's one way to look at it. Another way is just to say, you know, he gets these really cool riffs um, by using these tunings. Anyway, that's it. You do that four times. All right, here's the back end of it. Um, and here's the second pattern. The second pattern is to bar across... And we're going to start by doing the one on the on the uh, eighth fret, bar across again, all f the top five strings. Here's the second pattern. You just put your your third finger on the third string, two frets up from wherever you're barring. So in this case, you play eight, and then um, on the third, you're gonna you're gonna play on the tenth. Okay. So it starts out, he does like a little strumming thing. Then our old friend here at the fifth. And then all the way to the first, we're going to play pattern number two. Two frets up on the third, play that same pattern. And then our friendly pattern that we ended up with on the fifth. Okay, so it goes one, three, and then the fifth with pattern number one. Pattern number two on the first and on the first and on the third. Pattern number three on the fifth. All right, let's do that again very slowly, starting with the eighth. Oops. That's it, folks. Um, have a lot of fun with this. You can play it loosely. You can slide if you want. If you want that, you can throw in an extra note there. You can play or doesn't really matter. I think Richard's plays. That's it. All right. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Open G and then two patterns. The Slamming on with your with your uh, with on the second and the fourth fr uh, strings, um, one note up and and two notes up like this. That's the one pattern, and the second pattern is on the third string, slamming up two frets. That's it. All right, see you on down the road, folks.